Hey, what is going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another video. And today I wanted to show you my 2017 21 and a half inch 4K monitor iMac with an upgraded i7-7700K that I installed myself. Now I wanted to show you a Cinebench test that I ran on it and I have very I want to say upsetting results. As you can see on here I have a score of 903 and I'm going to explain how I got that. I started my computer and I think I went ahead and did a, a few things and I came back a couple minutes later and I decided okay let's let's make this video. So I ran Cinebench and I got a good score of 903. Now I've looked at other computers to see with you know the similar CPU and I've seen in the very high 900s close to that 1000 so 999, 997 and I've seen scores like that and that is when it's not overclocked. Of course this is an iMac so I'm unable to overclock the CPU. As you know the 7700K has a has a TDP of 91 watts. This iMac only comes with CPUs with 65 T, uh, 65 watt TDP. So when after reading it the CPU socket is capable of providing 91 watts, but the, just the cooling solution is not going to be sufficient to cool down that same energy. But I went ahead and ran some tests to show you that you're not capable of doing so. So I ran Intel's Extreme, Util uh, Extreme Tuning Utility just to show us the numbers while we're running the Cinebench, and immediately you can see it's thermal throttle. It took what, maybe two, three seconds, and it was thermal throttling the entire time. And one thing I didn't show you on the screen that I'll show you here in a little bit is the TDP. It shows you how much watts are going through that CPU. It's under where it says thermal throttle, and that'll be in the other test. But the entire time, it just maintained 65 watts. Now I was very disappointed because I, I thought that this was going to be capable of utilizing it but after watching, looking at the these scores, I just consistently kept getting these really really horrible Cinebench scores. Now I know this is just a generic uh, benchmark but it still affects everything else that I do. Now I couldn't quite figure out why I got 600. So I went ahead and ran the test again. I made sure that the CPU temperature cooled down. As you can see, it is in the, uh, right there, it's 90 degrees Celsius. And we're already close to that thermal throttling. And, you know, I took a look at the settings on Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. There's not much I can really do about it. So I tried to look to see if everything was normal. And everything is normal from the factory. So I went ahead and left it there, and then I went ahead and ran a test. So I ran the test, and as you can see, thermal throttling was from the time I hit run on Cinebench. And it stays like that the entire time. As you can see at the very bottom, where it says package TDP, uh, it, was, it reached about 65, and it just stays there, because as you know, this iMac, can only support 65 uh, watts of TDP. So I was very disappointed. And I went ahead and fast forwarded it. And as you can see, that's the best I've got was 707. And again, I just kept looking to see if there was anything else we can do. And this is the time when I finally made the decision to get a 7700 CPU that had a, TD, a TDP of 65 watts. I was disappointed because I thought the 7700K would not thermal throttle as much as I thought it was going to. But it 
good words as you can see in this entire test is proving that this iMac can't handle that. But running this test over and over and over just assured me that I need to invest in that 7700. And as you can see, went back down to 603. And that's where I'm going to leave this video at. I'm just going to say that an i7-7700K is not compatible with the 21.5 inch IMAX. Now you can put that CPU in there, but just with this video alone showing you, it would actually hurt you more than it'll help you. So I hope this video helps you out. If you were ever curious to see if if the 7700K could be supported, yes it can, but it will not give you the power that you are expecting coming out of that very powerful CPU. Well I hope you like this video guys. Please subscribe so that way I can continue making more content like this and also follow me on Twitter which I have a link down below and I'll catch you in the next one.